Davidson. Tonight he's wearing the white, black, trim with gold. At the weigh-in, he scaled 122 pounds even. 13 fights, 12 victories, 9 going inside the distance with one draw on his record. Standing proudly in the ring this evening as a former British bantamweight champion, former Commonwealth bantamweight champion, and former EBU European bantamweight champion. Tonight, he makes his first challenge for a world title, and he makes it right here in his home city of Edinburgh, Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Referee Steve Gray will now issue his final instructions. Okay, leave a call break, take one step back. Eric Sinigo break, un paso atrás. No punches on the back of the head. No goal pass, el aporte, atrás de la cabeza, okay? Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Very smart, eh? A list of champions at ringside. A fighter aiming for glory, being roared on by Josh Taylor and Kel Brook and Lee Wood. Alex Arthur, can McGregor respond? He says it's the Scottish Mexican against a real Mexican. We could be in for a real tear up here. Well, neither one likes to take a backward step, and that's what it means one thing, and that's fireworks. But it's important for the to start fast, use that jab, create that space. And McGregor is notorious for starting slowly and for finishing strong. It may give him a benefit at the end of the fight, but he's under pressure early on here against Robles. Well, good left hook off the ropes for this Robles, showing strength and accuracy with his work. That's better for McGregor, but when he slips, he got a fire. McGregor says you see the best of him when there's that fear factor. When he's maybe caught with a shot and has to respond, when he uses his strength to try and take over. Oh, good point of shots. Both digging to the body in these early stages. It's an electrifying opening here in Edinburgh. Walking left hand there from Robles. Robles is heavy handed. Nine knockouts on his record. Just one defeat last time he stopped a previously unbeaten fighter, Angel Carrillo. He's up against another unbeaten fighter here. He can be a heartbreaker, Robles. That's better for McGregor, just keep using that jab and then dip in with the, with the body shots. That's good work there from McGregor, but there's Robles again. You can't hold your feet in front of the target. You've got to do your work, McGregor, and then move around the target and take a step back. At the moment, neither is giving an inch here, and there's no sense of feeling each other out. <laughs> Superb left hook to the body there from Lee McGregor, and again, I think Robles felt that last one. There's a nice little short right up as well there from McGregor. Oh, good left hook though back there from Robles. And a left hook again from Robles. Oh. He fell down McGregor at the hold. What an opening round this is. Just what we might have expected. So that's the scene. 
And here's the best of that terrific opening round, Barry Jones. It was a frantic pace, wasn't it? Well, like we expected, and good work by both. I just thought for me, Robles was busier from the off and a bit more weight and purchase in his punches. Alex Arthur, Lee Wood. Alex Arthur fought ten times in the old arena here. See, McGregor's just got to, got, no, got, just got to move on the target a little bit more. He's done some good, he's done some good shots and holding his feet, and that's allowing Robles to fire back with what seems so far the weightier punches. They have come out in force to cheer on their hometown boy. But Robles is unloading here. Come here like he really fancies the job. Well, we can have those hooks there, isn't he? Robles a good left up to the body there from the southpaw stance. And now just slow, slow the reaction down there of, of McGregor. He likes to get in close, but I think you got to do it behind a long jab first. Close the distance with that left hand, then go to work. Better from McGregor. But every time McGregor lands something, Robles responds with power. Well, he's coming it up, to be fair, McGregor, and, and blocking a lot of these punches, but enough for getting through. But the important part of McGregor is once you do your work, get up to there. If you're not going to spin around the target, take two steps back. Left hook from Robles, that found a way through. Good double cut there from McGregor. Oh, good shot there from Robles, though. Nice little left hand. Just finding a hole too frequent with that, left, that straight left hand. Both have power. Both know how to finish. Both are trying to impose their will on the other here, and that uppercut is starting to do a good job here for McGregor. Oh, and then that Whitman. slashing left to the body. But again, because he holds his feet, he gets paid back with a right hook from Robles. Oh, good combination again then. Robles has jumped on McGregor here. Again, McGregor landing that uppercut. Oh, good body shot as well there from McGregor. This is great punishing work from both fighters as we come towards the end of the second round. It is a fizzing start in Edinburgh. Ben Davison there with Lee McGregor. Well, the pattern's set, isn't it, for sure. And that's why this, the ring's too big for this fight. They can corner them off. And they just and this is tie their shoelaces together because that's all the, the fight's going to be fought and ultimately that's all the fight's going to be won. But I thought McGregor got, got, got through with some good uppercuts there. There might have been the heavier shot still from Robles, but I thought he was a little bit smarter with some of his work in that round, McGregor. Straight back to work. Shot. The kind of fight that McGregor expected. He said he knew Robles would start fast. He'd be there to meet him, and that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, good shot there from Robles. It's just the fact that he stands in front of Robles after he does his work. They're just standing toe to toe here. He's trying to roll a little bit now, though, after the punches here, McGregor. Rather than move his feet. At least he's doing something after he throws a shot. Robles stepping in again. McGregor is blocking, as you said, plenty of these, but responding with work in his own now. Big right to the body from McGregor, but again, Robles responds. Yes, I thought it was a better response, wasn't it, from Robles, I thought.
The crowd sense that McGregor needs them. So here they are. At least he's better headroom than this one for McGregor. Oh, good shot there from Rodriguez. Only blemish on McGregor's record, that draw against Diego Alberto Ruiz at the York Hall, February of last year. He looked listless that night, uninterested, my goodness. He looks anything but here, this is his kind of fight. It's also Robles' kind of fight as well, isn't it? They both be where they want, they're, they're where they want to be. It's a battle of wills now already. Oh, it's good work there, but lovely from McGregor. She's just a little head more head movement than his strong with the difference. Ooh. Punishing body work from both fighters. Again, that uppercut from Lee McGregor. Oh, good work there from Robles. Lovely combination. Yeah. Right hand from McGregor. Follows it with a left hook and another uppercut, but Robles comes roaring back. Thrilling end to the third round. Salvador Felix there with Eric Robles at the Zerdo Felix gym and the hard work they put in is paying off here. But look at this though, it's just really quality work. I can't believe it's only three rounds in. Round four of a possible 12. They surely can't continue at this pace. Neither has taken a backward step so far. It's quite often what you do after the throw the punch is almost, almost, I say, as important as the punch itself. And in a fight like this, that might be, that might be the case. Especially from McGregor. Good shot. But that's Just for a moment caught. there, Robles' leg stiffens, you know. Because they're right in front of us, just for a tiny moment. Left hook there from McGregor. That got Robles' interest as well. A nice up cut again there from McGregor. You see the head movement now, there's more movement around the target than there was in the previous two rounds. He's tried it in the last round and this round is going to work with it more. And that's, what's, that's important for him. So Robles can fire back with success. Josh Taylor over on the far side of the ring is on the edge of his seat. Lee McGregor looks up to Josh Taylor. He wants the success that Josh has had. And he's working hard here. Good work there from Robles. He's, he's, he's taking little steps to the left as he throws his shots just to keep McGregor turning so he can't set himself. Good work. The last southpaw that Lee McGregor faced, Vincent Legrand dropped him, but he has stopped all three southpaws that he's faced. He finds a way eventually. A little chop and shot there from, from Robles, but a better response here from Lee McGregor. McGregor's having a terrific round here, finding a way through. But plenty still coming back from Robles. Yeah, I think, like in the previous round, trying to finish strong here, Robles, and Robles just got to put his foot on the pedal a little bit here. Just don't give the round away with 40 seconds to go. The jab's the key here from this distance from McGregor. Clever work. The McGregor just set the seal on the round. He did with an excellent straight right to the body, but Robles again responding. Oh, that's good left hand there from, from Robles. So Ben Davison there with Lee McGregor, 
And let's take a look at some more fabulous action, Barry. Well, it's just every round's like the other one, isn't it? It's just non stop action, both working away. I just thought the league were a little bit smart with his work, Craig. They had better head movement and it just punched from a little bit further out. One thing Lee McGregor could always do at bantamweight was impose himself physically on opponents. Maybe just struggling to do that at super bantam against a slightly bigger man here in Robles. We saw that in that Ruiz fight. But there's more, there's more whip in the punches in McGregor, so there's a bit more speed on the shots. But the naturally have a handed, but the sound of it is, is Robles. When, when he lets his hands go, you can hear the thuds. Robles' fight against Daniel Zaragoza last December was described by some as the fight of 2022, which might have been overstating it, but it was a heck of a scrap. And Robles is in another barn burner here. Some good work here from Robles. That's a good 20 seconds without reply here from McGregor Robles. covering up here. To be fair, though, Greg, he kept nice and tight there, but some heavy shots there. You, and even though he's blocking the shots, you're going to feel the weight. Don't forget, is trying to tire him out a little bit here. He's not letting his hands go. McGregor, we know, finishes so strong. We also know Robles hasn't been ever beyond eight rounds. McGregor is a really strong finisher. Is that part of the game plan? Well, it looked like this for this round. He sort of gave, he gave the first half of the round to Robles. Now we start to go to work a little bit here on McGregor. Oh, it's good work over there. Good response there from Robles. Robles unloading those left hooks. McGregor still making good use of that uppercut. That's a good finish here, McGregor. It's been a good round for the Mexicans so far. Still just looking for signs of weakness here in one of them. Loads on his pressure for Robles, but he's keeping his hands moving. McGregor's trying to be smart, pick the pick the little gaps. He's been all hustled in this round. Yeah, it's been fantastic, almost street fighting. It's very skillful street fighting from Robles, but as you say, just fabulous hustle from the Mexican. And he finishes strongly as well. Oh, that's nice from McGregor there, but good round for Robles. Good, solid round for Robles. He came out of the gate being busy, then his hands go. With those weighty shots. McGregor tried to fire back, but he just kept it for the whole three minutes there, Robles. A real good effort from the Mexican. Does McGregor believe that the storm will blow out and that he'll start to take over? It's not blowing out at the moment. But, that's, but, but also, it's about what the punches take out of you that you're taking. Even if you're, even if you're blocking them, you're feeling the weight. It's much better from this distance, though, isn't it, for McGregor? He starts using that jab. Fighting, his, fighting those longer right hands, little steps back. Feels like from range is where he has the advantage, as you've been saying. Needs to use that more, but he can't help himself. No, he just loves to be forward, doesn't he? Loves to be that forward momentum, likes to get in close. And it works for him. This IBO title has been held by 15 fighters, including some very good ones, including Steph Coolboy Fulton, who has a 
A big night coming on uh, on Tuesday, defending his uh, world title against the Neuer in Newark. It's good work here from McGregor, and then trying to keep that upper body moving as well as he's after he's throwing the shots. Much better here from McGregor. Yeah, Steve Gray's had a couple of, uh, of looks at them, but finally just says to Lee McGregor, keep those punches up. That's that was right shot. on the belt line again. You know Robert has felt it, though, because he's unloading. Yeah, those booming hooks now again from Robles. Trying to drag McGregor back into his kind of fight. Just got to keep the discipline here, McGregor, now. He was doing well from range. Oh, it's good there from Robles. Trying to get a good finish to the round again. Another fascinating round. The fight starts to take shape. So we move into the second half of the fight. Josh Taylor, who's right down, we can see him in the background there, right down below that Lee McGregor corner, was on his feet, screaming advice at him, telling him to throw combinations, telling him to do what you've been saying, to throw them from range. And also, more importantly, once he's thrown the shots, he's got to move his head, he's got to move his body out of the way, got to try and pivot on that front foot and just make Robles look for him. Because at the minute, at the minute, he's just allowed to fire back Robles. See that Josh Taylor journey on Channel 5. There he is, and Lee McGregor wants the same kind of journey. Good shot there from McGregor. Anyway, you've had success there. You know, you'll take a little step back. Or move around the target, either one. See, he's standing there now, and he's had to take shots back. All the good work, though, is undone. Instinct takes over common sense. Yeah. Left hook booming from McGregor, followed by that uppercut. That's oh, nice work there from McGregor, lovely work. Another booming left hook from Lightning Lee McGregor. Gonna roll to his left, he rolls to his right, but he only dips to his left. He's gonna roll to his left and come back with that shot. Oh, a good shot from McGregor. He got to do what, what Robles did just there. That's what McGregor's has to do, should do. Saying all this, though, he's showing a really good engine here, isn't he, McGregor? Just seems to get better round by round. We we know that about him. We've seen it before, but it's remarkable to watch, like a, a train that just moves quicker and quicker. That was good there from McGregor. Fuck on the soft boy. Took a real step on the outside after the jab and threw a right hand right down the centre of the guard. There he is again, taking that step on the outside. That really works for him. McGregor's best round of the fight. This as we head into its closing 30 seconds. He's got that internal clock, doesn't he? Robles. He's finished trying to finish strong in every round so far. Tough fight. Here comes the strong finish from Robles. Oh, Meaty left hand there from Robles. Mega avoided the second one. There he is. 
Josh Taylor looks concerned here, but this is protege Lee McGregor just maybe started to take over here. Second two. It's time I ask you how you got it, Barry. Yeah, I just think McGregor just, just slightly pulling ahead there in front of that, in that, I think he had two good rounds on the spin for me. But it's tight. I think all the rounds are really tight. And it's only, especially those first three rounds, where you could have easily given more to Robles. Gregor will be aware that Robles has never been beyond the eighth round. How significant will that be? Because we know that McGregor's going to keep coming. What I think must be significant is the last couple of rounds, he, he's been punching from further out. And that's made a massive difference. And uh, Robles has success, of course, and in the last sort of 20 seconds, he's, you know, he's, he's maybe having a better, but still, but at that point, McGregor's done enough work maybe to just uh, take the advantage in the round. McGregor stepped up to 10 rounds in his fourth fight when he won that IBF youth title. Immensely durable. Those body shots might just be starting to take a toll on Robles. McGregor whips them in, not just with power, but with brilliant accuracy. Good response here from Robles, and he needed this as well for this round. And every time you think Robles looks discouraged, back he comes. Yeah, McGregor's got to move his feet. Robles' toughness is just extraordinary. What was it Mickey Duff said? Never fight a Mexican unless you have to. <laughs> oh, how oh, has that been in the last couple of years over in the UK? Time after time. And a good finish of the round here, Robles, isn't he? Punch and left from McGregor. And again, and then that uppercut sneaking through as well. The first championship fight for Robles, a seventh for McGregor. How important will that be in terms of knowing just how to manage the situation? McGregor has been here. He's trying to make Robles fight at the pace that he doesn't want to fight that, but Robles is matching it to this point. We do feel that just a sense that McGregor just might be starting to take over it just a slightly. As I say that. So this was some of the action from that eighth round, and every time we think Robles might be fading, he proves that he's not. Well, he, he's having bursts of attacks, and he has to wait for punches, so they, ca they carry more gravitas than maybe than, than Lee McGregor's, but Lee McGregor's working throughout the round, so, again, do you reward that, the work ethic, or do you just reward the spurts of attacks? It's ultimately down to the quality of the punches being thrown, you would feel which makes it a really, especially that round, a really tight and hard round to score. Second two, nine. This crowd have had their money's worth tonight. Still, we don't know which way this one's going to go. McGregor ahead on Barry's card. And that seems... Logical, certainly, in a close fight. Plenty of tight rounds. But is he just starting to move away? I just feel he's been smart in the last few three rounds for me, and that's made the difference. And he's shown himself no, that no, 
the way to win. I know the way he wants to win. He wants to, he wants to pile on and get and go right through you. But I'm not sure if he can do that against Robles. I think boxing from distance here, and even though he's trying to put the pressure on, still maintaining that length in his in his punches is helping him. For me, just slightly you no know, step ahead. Also, oh, lovely uppercut there from Robles. Good spell here for the Mexican. Similar pattern to the start of the fight. This is definitely where Robles wants it. Oh, lovely. Gregor just covering up there, Robles. The really good 30 seconds or so. To be fair to McGregor, he's inviting the pressure. He wants Robles to let his hands go and tie himself out. McGregor again digging so hard to the body with right and left there. Well, he's got to have a strong finish now, hasn't he, McGregor? Hand in the rest of the shots weren't worth anything, but the last left hand was a lovely shot from Robles. Both men's conditioning here has been put to an extreme test, and they both responded. The punishing power they both take it to the body has been something else. Will one of them wilt here? That was lovely from Robles there, he spanned McGregor out, put his back on the ropes. Really good work, really clever work. McGregor's <laughs> just allowed Robles back into this a little bit. We sensed he might be taking over, but he hasn't. much improved in that round when he came out fast let his hands go McGregor tried to match him as he, as he has throughout but the difference is there McGregor didn't punch from far out he wanted it close I think he wanted Robles to so, so almost wear himself out and let his hands go but it was a round lost by McGregor for me I think Robles had a really good round the work ethic was fantastic and the weight in the punches was enough to give him the nod for me It's going to be won and lost as we head towards the championship rounds here. You got it 5-4 in McGregor's favour, Barry, with three to go. Yeah, I have, yeah, but if, if there's a shift in momentum like there was there for Robles, you have the, you have the little bit of injection of a... Uh, of zest, if you like. You know, a good round, you'd be more positive coming up for this round now. Oh, good shot. The game plan that was allowing Lee McGregor to look like he was taking over, he's gone away from it and he's gone back to this fighting instinct, the Scottish-Mexican instinct. <laughs> it's thrilling to watch, but it might yet cost him the fight. Well, he can fight that way, he just has to be, you know, you've got to keep rolling after the shots and he has to be a little bit busier with his hands. Though he's worked hard enough, there's no... Can't complain about the work ethic from either one. But, I mean, the weightier shots are coming from Robles, or they certainly sound weightier, so... They get more of the knots off, off the judges. Oh, that's good. Look at this, fantastic. Look at the combinations here from Robles. McGregor's blocking some of them, but not all, and they're finding a way through. Who said McGregor was going to be the one getting stronger? It's Robles piling on the pressure now. And oh. McGregor responds. Robles not happy with that, but they're on their feet here. 
toe-to-toe -to now. This is where the crowd help you. It's where the home advantage helps you. They're roaring Lee McGregor on with a minute to go in round 10. Oh, good shot there from McGregor. Wilbur has probably punched himself out in this round. But he's done enough, you feel. You can need a massive finish here, McGregor. Oh, body shot felt that. Oh, that body shot hurt him in a left hook, and Robles is hanging on here. Robles is breathing heavy. McGregor, I think, can feel him wilting here. But he's tired. He can't let. He can't. He doesn't realise how much he's hurting. That's a good jab there from Nobles. He's trying to keep McGregor off here for the first time in the fight. There was a moment there when Robles looked in trouble. It's a seesaw fight here in Edinburgh. What drama, Barry? What drama here now? Well, he, he just committed to his attacks for the for the. As soon, as, as soon as the round started, didn't he? Robles. Then he go with combinations, blistered him, weighty shots. Maybe punched himself up, but McGregor didn't do much. Then the last sort of 40 seconds, he hurt Robles with a body shot. He just didn't have enough energy there to really just follow up on the attack, but it was a really good, exciting round. And that body shot might have just taken a little bit of life. Fantastic fight. Two rounds remain. This is high level championship boxing live for you on terrestrial television. You can't ask for much more than that. Oh, great right hand there from McGregor. Good from McGregor there, just threatening, but from a safe distance. I'm trying to get that uppercut through again. Oh, that's a nice shot. And there's a little flurry from Robles to suggest that he has recovered if there was any problem towards the end of that tenth round. Good bit of footwork as well there, one there from Robles. Oh, it's better from McGregor. Why are you doing this from round one? There are quite a few contentious rounds, close rounds in this fight. I know a lot of you like to score it at home. You'll have it one way, Barry will have it another. Everyone will have an opinion. Your sense watching it as a whole is that McGregor's edging it, but that's not how boxing scores. And Robles responding well here. Yeah, it's good work in there from Robles here. Been a good round so far from McGregor, but Robles. Just pulling a bit back again. Theme of the fight, really, isn't it? Needs to come back with that left hook, McGregor, when he throws that wrong, long right hand. The weight's over the front foot to get himself back on line, and it's a scoring shot. Like all the best contests do, it has been full-blooded, fully committed, and it has had the most brilliant ebb and flow. And Robles proving that now as he comes forward towards the end of this 11th round, and he starts to unload on McGregor. There's a good right hook there from Robles. And still Robles teeing off, McGregor looking to fight back here. Robles got to throw him through the middle. He's throwing these wide hooks, but there's a gap right through the middle there for an uppercut.
a night that anyone watching will remember. And it's bedlam in here. But again, there was another wrong way, but I thought McGregor started fast and looked like he was being sensible, and then once they get close, Robles then with a heavier hand to me, just taking over. into this I got it level I think yep and that means much to be fair there'd be so many swing rounds haven't there some tight rounds with a, a massive disparity in the scorecards here and listen to the flower of Scotland echoing around this Meadowbank Sports Centre where Lee McGregor came to box for the first time all those years ago where he hopes that his dreams will start to come true tonight where he has been through the most grueling battle against Eric Robles in a fight in which there is a cigarette paper between them it is that close it's a good start here though from Robles okay he's trying to be tight and smart the road raised then his hands go a little bit. And again, half are getting blocked, but some are getting through, and that's enough. Oh, clever from McGregor. seconds for the title here Josh Taylor on his feet again roaring them on he looks concerned and there was real concern going into the final round I wonder if they've been looking at people's scorecards on social media <laughs> and just say hang on a minute he hasn't got this the left hand there from Robles as McGregor came forward we don't know how the judges are scoring it. We sense it's very close, but it could still be on the line now. These final 45 seconds mean everything to these two fighters. Well, McGregor might think he's done enough, possibly, you know, because he hasn't done a lot in this round so far. Or maybe he just doesn't have the energy. It's been that sort of fight. There's another fighting McGregor. He does three five-minute rounds. This McGregor has done 12 threes, the most grueling, dramatic action. And we still don't know, but these two have put it all on the line. They will rise as one in this arena to these two men. And be sure that you raise a glass to them at home. They've given nothing but all-out entertainment. They've given it everything. And now it will go to the three judges' scorecards. What a night in Edinburgh. After the break, we'll have the decision. Don't go anywhere. It's time to find out. We can get to our MC Paul Booth. Boxing fans ringside, two committed professional boxers who tonight have left it all in the ring. After 12 rounds of super bantamweight boxing, we go to the judges of ringside. Terry O'Connor has the contest and scored at 116 at 113. Julio Piras and Miguel Hook both have the bout at 115, 113. All three judges scoring in favor of the winner by unanimous decision, 
from Mexico, Terry Blade. Robles, Robles. He's caused the upset. Lee McGregor collapses on the canvas in despair. Eric Robles has come to Edinburgh and he's broken Lee McGregor's heart. It's his night. What a performance from both men. But the night belongs to Eric Robles. A remarkable fight, and it's Robles who gets it. Championship boxing is not easy. There is your winner, Eric Robles from Mexico. He's made his way to Edinburgh, Scotland, and he has taken the victory. Lee McGregor, distraught, but also respectful of what was an absolute war in that ring tonight, Steve Bunce. They fought for every inch, for every second of every round. And then in that last round, when, when both of them were absolutely exhausted, they found something else. They found another 180 seconds. It was a privilege to be at ringside. It was a pleasure to watch it. I mean, I mean that, and I've got to tell you, the right man got the decision in the end. If it had been 6-6, I wouldn't have complained. If, if Lee McGregor had got that by three or four rounds, it would have been wrong. We've seen some justice in the ring tonight, and too often in boxing, people moan and shout and scream, so you can't win in Britain. That was a great win, it was a great fight, and Lee McGregor, there's nothing else he could have done. Yeah. There's nothing else he could have done in that fight. He just lost tonight to the latest Mexican, and Barry talked about it in commentary, to come here and upset people against the odds. It's an endless convey. I was in Mexico earlier this year for a Sol Canelo fight. I went to a couple of gyms. I saw 30 fighters. When I asked about them, every single one of them was anonymous. Mm. It's a serious business. It's a serious place. And this is it, Steve. You do not fight a Mexican if you do not have to. But what we saw from Lee McGregor tonight, he went in there and it was a war. He said to himself, he has, to, he has a point to prove, not only to all the people that have been doubting him, but also to himself. It didn't pay off tonight, though. Well, listen, it didn't pay off. But what it leads to is a straightforward rematch. We've seen that with Lee Wood, who's at ringside here tonight, who's done a lot of sparring with Lee McGregor. He got his his rematch against uh, against L Lara, and then we saw it also. We saw it. Uh, we saw it. We saw it with Lara and Washington. So Josh Warrington, he got his rematch. It can happen. We'll be back here again. It's not the end of the world. It's boxing. You don't win. It's not fake. It's real. And and hometown favourites in fights they have to win. Sometimes, guess what, Jeanette? They lose. They lose, and we're going to get into it. We'll go through everything. Thing. But what I do want to ask you, Steve, for someone like Ali McGregor now, you can see how distraught he was in the decision. Where does he go next? What is next for him? Well, I've got to be honest with you. He'll have a break. His face is quite swollen. He's taken a lot of punches. It's been a really, it's been a really, really hard fight. He get a rematch. We'll be back here in six months or somewhere else. Why not? It was a great fight. It was a brilliant, brilliant fight. We're going to get into everything. Lee McGregor versus Eric Robles, but not before we take this break. <laughs> 